Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Sa video na ito ay igaguide ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 2 tungkol sa joint and combined variation at joint variation. Sa nakaraang video ay na-discuss natin ang direct at inverse variation. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yun, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Bago natin simulan, i-review lang muna natin kung ano nga ba ang joint and combined variation. Joint and combined variation involves three or more quantities that may vary directly and or inversely to each other. Kaya sa joint and combined kasi pinaghalong direct variation at inverse variation. Sa joint variation naman, if the ratio of one quantity to the product of the other two quantities is constant, J vary jointly. That is, if Y varies jointly as X and Z, then Y over XZ is equal to K or Y varies jointly as X and Z. Okay? Big sabi nito, Y varies jointly as X and Z. Usually, kapag joint and combined variation, more than 2 or 3 yung involved na quantities. Dito sa learning task number 2, supply the missing value if y varies jointly as x and z. So, ang general formula for joint variation is y equals kxz. Kung mapapansin niyo meron ng kasamang z yung kx. Di ba yung direct variation is y equals kx lang? Dito naman, may kasama na siyang Z. So, bali tatlo na yung nandito sa right side. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay mas matuto kayong mag-solve kapag kayo mismo ang mag-solve sa mga module ninyo. Alright? Dito sa first row, meron tayong given na Y na 30, then X na 3, tapos Z na 5. Ngayon, ang hahanapin natin dito is yung constant or yung K at kung ano yung equation. Tandaan ninyo palagi na ang equation ng joint variation ay y equals k x z. Substitute lang natin yung mga values para makuha natin yung k. Yung y natin is 30 equals k is wala pa. Then x natin is 3 times ang z natin is 5. Ganun lang siya mga anak. Then multiply ninyo 3 times 5 equals 15 times k equals 15k. Ngayon, anong gagawin ninyo para matanggal si 15 sa katabi ni k para k lang ang matitira? I-divide natin both sides by 15 para k na lang yung matira and then 30 divided by 15 that would be equal to positive 2. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng k is positive 2 at ang equation natin ay palitan lang natin ng 2 yung k. Yung y x tsaka z ay remain pa rin sila. So, magiging ganito na. y equals yung constant times x, z. Okay? Next, dito naman sa second row, meron tayong given na y equals 40 and then z na 4. And then, yung equation niya is y equals 2x, z. So, dito sa equation, madali na lang nating hanapin yung k dito kasi given yung equation. Yung katabi ni x, yun yung k. That is, positive 2. So, ganun lang yung k. And then, para naman makuha natin yung x, substitute lang natin dito sa formula. That would be y equals kxz. By substitution, ang y natin is 40 equals, ang k natin is 2 times x times z is 4. And then, simplify. 2x, 4 to ha. 2 times 4 is equal to 8 times x equals 8x. And then, para makuha natin yung value ng x, i-divide natin both sides by 8. Para makancel ito, then 40 divided by 8 is equal to positive 5. Uh, x dapat to. 
So, ang value ng x is equal to positive 5. O, di ba madali lang mga anak? Next, dito naman tayo sa third row. Ang given naman dito ay yung x na positive 6, yung z na positive 7, at yung k na positive 4. Kung meron na tayong k, madali na lang natin gawin or isulat yung kanyang equation. That would be equal to y equals ang k natin is 4. That would be y is equal to ang k natin is 4 times x times z. So, yan na yung equation natin kasi given na yung k. And then, para naman makuha yung y, substitute lang natin yung mga values dito. That would be y equals kxz. Then, y times ang k natin is 4, times ang x natin is 6, times ang z natin is 7. Ganun lang siya. Then, 4 times 6 equals 24, times 7 is equal to 168. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng y is equal to 168. Lalagay natin dito. Alright? Next, dito naman sa fourth row, meron tayong given na y equals 90. Yung x natin is 10. And then, ang equation is y equals 3xz. So, ang hanapin natin is yung value ng z at yung value ng k. Para makuha natin yung value ng k, kapag given na yung equation, tingnan nyo lang kung ano yung katabi ni x. So, ano yung katabi ni x? That is positive 3. Para naman makuha yung z, substitute lang natin dito sa equation. So, ang y natin is 90 equals 3 times ang x natin is 10 times z. Nasundan. Then, simplify 3 times 10 is equal to 30 times z equals to 30z. Para makuha natin yung z, i-divide natin both sides by 30 para makancel ito. Then, z is equal to 90 divided by 30 is equal to positive 3. So, ang value ng z is equal to positive 3. Lastly, meron tayong given na 48 na y, tapos ang z natin is 12, and then ang equation natin is y equals 3 fourth xz. Ngayon, paano naman natin kukunin yung k kung ang given ay fraction? So, ganun din lang sa pag-identify natin dito sa numbers 1 to 4, yung katabi pa rin ni x, and that is 3 over 4. So, yun yung k natin. Ngayon, para naman makuha yung x, substitute natin dito sa equation. So, that is y equals 3 fourth xz. By substitution, ang y natin is 48 equals 3 fourth times x times ang z natin is 12. Then, multiply natin ito. 3 fourth times 12, that would be equal to 36 over 4. Kasi 12 times 3 equals 36 over 4. Then, kopyahin yung x. 36 divided by 4 is equal to positive 9. Then, kopyahin yung x. Para naman makuha natin yung value ng x, i-divide natin both sides by 9. Para makancel ito. And then, 48 divided by 9, hindi siya whole number, that would be equal to 5 and 1 third. Yan yung value ng x. So, ang ilalagay natin dito sa table is 5 and 1 third or kapag i-convert nyo naman yan sa kanyang decimal form, ang magiging sagot nyan is 5.33. So, pwedeng 5 and 1 third or 5.33. So, yun lamang mga anak. Kung gusto nyo yung panoorin yung susunod na learning task, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye.